Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a quick little video for you. Um, as you can see, I have on some makeup, but nothing that I couldn't do without doing my concealer first, because today I'm doing a comparison video between Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte and the new Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer from Too Faced. Tarte Shape Tape has been my absolute favorite and a lot of people's holy grail since it launched. It kind of blew up. It is an amazing concealer. However, this has been taking social media by storm and sounds like it's a competitor. So let's go through a couple basic things first. Packaging, both plastic packaging. They both have the giant doe foot applicator. As you can see, you all know what the Tarte Shape Tape looks like, but in case you don't, also a very large doe foot applicator. Now, price-wise, Tarte is $27, and how many ounces? 0 0.3381 ounces, which is a lot for concealer. However, this is a massive amount for concealer. I almost, a lot of people look at it and think it's a foundation because it is very, very large for a concealer. And this is 0.5 ounces. Now a standard amount for a foundation is one ounce. Um, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, but usually they're around one ounce. So this is huge for a concealer. It is a half ounce. And this is $29. So this is a lot of bang for your buck. However, does it work well? So I can say I've used this a few times already, and I love the formula. Love it. It is super, super smooth. Um, very full coverage. I still want to say that the Tarte Shape Tape might have a little bit more coverage, but I think this looks smoother on my under eye. Um, but I have not actually put them side by side, and I feel like that will be the real test once I see them side by side. Um, I do have two shades in both because I do one that kind of matches more my skin tone, and then one slightly lighter for the inner corner. Alright, so I guess I'm going to go ahead. Actually, you know what? I did not talk about shade range. One second. Let me see. So the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, as of right now, has 20 shades, um, and they keep adding. I think a lot of people forget that when it launched, it had five shades. Um, it was like fair, light, light, medium, tan, and deep, and they've continuously added new shades, um, and the shades selection, I think, is really good right now. Now, the Too Faced Concealer, okay, so the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, out the door, launched with 20 shades, which is really awesome as well, and let's see, I do think, especially for the first launch, that they did do a pretty good job with the shade selection um, from fair to deep, and it's not like there's just two deep shades. There's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, about six, seven of those are deep, and then there's a good selection of medium shades, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven medium to tan shades, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven-ish light shades. Some of those overlap, but there are 20 shades, and the shade selection is pretty broken up evenly, I think. Now for the performance of this, I am going to go ahead and do the Born This Way first. We'll do that on my, my right. Okay. 
This one is in the shade Porcelain. This is the darker of the two that I'm using. And do the eyelid as well. And then we're going to put Snow just a little bit higher and a little bit overlapping. I look a little crazy right now, but this is how I apply my concealer. I do a few dabs on the eyelid because that is how I prime for eyeshadow. And then we're going to blend out with a beauty blender. All right, so as you can see, super full coverage, no dark circle, still dark circle. So very full coverage, very smooth. I can say from wearing this a few times, it does not crease throughout the day. I always set my concealer though. Um, so with setting it with powder, I find that it does not crease and it stays looking pretty much the same as how it looks when you first apply it. Now, this has like a satin finish. It is not dewy by any means, but it is not as matte as the Shape Tape Concealer, which we can go ahead and now go on the other side. I'm going to be using the shades Light Neutral and Light. I think I just got that in my hair. Okay, so as you can see, they both blended out really, really well. Um, both super full coverage. I no longer have any dark circles on either side. Um, I really thought that there was going to be a major difference, but to be honest, they're very, very similar looking. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say one's completely blowing away the other. They both look the same to me. As far as smoothness goes and cover goes. They're looking really pretty much the same. I'm going to set both sides with the Cover FX Perfect Translucent Powder, I think is what it's called. Let that sit for a second, and then I'm going to brush it away. They both blend it out easily, both full coverage. I think, oh, I think the Born This Way side might look a smidgen smoother, and that might just be because it's a tiny bit less drying. All right, I'm going to brush away the powder now. Okay, so yeah, I'm really torn. They look almost identical, so I, yeah, I guess if you're gonna buy one, you do get more for your money with the Born This Way, but they are both amazing. Both super full coverage, both really smooth. Like I said, I think the Born This Way might be a hair smoother because it is a little bit less drying, a little bit less matte for the under eye. 
but you do get more for your money with the Born This Way Concealer. Like I said, I have used this a few times, so I already knew that I really liked it, but I did want to see side by side how I thought it looked with the shape tape, and it's almost identical. I will say one thing about the shape tape that I like. Sometimes when I do my foundation, I will set my entire face and then go in with my concealer. So technically, when I went in with my concealer, this area had already been set with powder. And I think the Tarte Shape Tape, because it is matte, blended a little bit better over some of the parts of my face that were already set. But other than that, they're pretty much the same. So to sum up the two, both full coverage, Born This Way is a little bit smoother as far as lines go. You get a little bit more for your money with the Too Faced one. Both amazing concealers though. I know that they both last all day, they don't crease throughout the day, they don't settle, they don't move. So yeah, you can't really go wrong with either one of them. I really thought that it, I was going to be like super blown away by one of them and not the other, but I'm pretty much just blown away by both of them. So I'm going to go finish some of my makeup, not my eyes though, because that's going to be a different video that I'm going to film right after this and just kind of wrap up this video. All right, so I am back with everything. Ooh, my bronzer on my forehead looks really bad. One second. All right, so I'm back with everything except for my eyes done. And yeah, the concealers look pretty much identical to me. Um, I'll have to ask my coworkers throughout the day if they see a difference and not tell them which one is which. And I can update in the, um, I will update in the description box and let you know if, there was a clear winner throughout the day. I'll take a poll. But, like I said, full coverage. Smooth. Born This Way might be a tad smoother on lines because it's a little bit more hydrating. But I don't know. I catch it in certain lights, and I think the Tarte one looks smoother. So I, I, ugh. They're really about the same. Except, oh, even in shade range. They're, they both have 20 shades. The shade range is very similar. Formula's pretty similar, and you get a little bit more for your money for the Too Faced. So I definitely think if you're wanting to try a new concealer that, and you like the Tarte Shape Tape or you like a full coverage concealer, that this one is definitely, definitely worth trying. You might even like it better, or you might still like your Tarte Shape Tape. I will say, if you are oily or blemish prone, and you're concealing blemishes or concealing the face, you might like the Tarte Shape Tape better. If you are dry and concealing something on the face, you might like the Too Faced better because I think that's the main difference is it just has a little bit more moisture to it. It does have hyaluronic acid in it, which is hydrating. So I think that is the main difference between the two. I wanted there to be a distinct difference. I could be like, oh yeah, the Tarte Shape Tape is still way better. The Too Faced is blowing the Tarte Shape Tape out of the water. But they're both winners, and I really, really like them both and will continue to use both of them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I do put my face in that little bubble that you can click on, and you can subscribe to me there. Or you can subscribe by going in the drop-down box and subscribing where you subscribe on everybody else's channel. And that is all I have for this video. I'm actually going to hop in and film another video on my eyes. So hopefully I have two videos coming at you guys pretty soon. This one should be up first, though. And that's all. See you guys in my next video.